previously on Balls. Nat. Hey, hello. How are you? Hello, Nat. Very well, thanks, and you? All right, thanks. Welcome back to Balls Radio. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, always lucky to have you on the show, and uh, and I see a new gig lined up for you. The uh, let's just get this right. Direct, uh, you're a director for uh, one of the directors at the Institute for Drug Free Sport. Sport, right? Well, I think it's more just on the board, and um, I think the four years have just come to the end of the term. So, it's, yeah, so okay. it's the next, the next sort of start of the, of the new term. Yes. Now, are you an executive director, non-executive director? Is it just a case of getting together with them once a month and uh, sort of discussing, uh, obviously, what it, you know, all about uh, keeping drugs out of sport? Uh, do you get paid t- uh, for this? Is it a full-time thing, or just just explain yeah. exactly what your commitments would be? Uh, for me to be on the board, I think, you know, it's, it's been very important as an athlete um, and, you know, as, as it comes to my sporting career as well, um, drug free is obviously very, very important to me. So for me to be on the board is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think, you know, the aim is really to keep drugs out of sports and to go out there and, and, and you know, to promote sports and, and healthy living um, without, without drugs. Yeah. And, you know, yes, we, we on a term for a certain period of time, um, and hopefully can make a difference. You know, we're going to go out there and going to cycle the Argus cycle to have done the 94.7 uh, to raise awareness. And, and it's important that it's not just for athletes, but for people at school, uh, school level, and just generally everybody to go and live a, a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, well, that, that's that's fantastic. And I think also ideal choice as well to be on that uh, on that board. Uh, and I think, you know, this, this, this is very, very pertinent now and relevant it brings the whole idea and concept and uh, problem of drugs in sport uh, at this time when uh, we're about to sort of get the what sounds like the uh, the sort of uh, confession of Lance Armstrong uh, which basically I think people are looking at the uh, you know the biggest swindle drug wise uh, that any sport has ever seen you know it's such a it's such a tough topic um, as I said as an athlete for me it was important to, to be drug free and to go out there and, and to spread that awareness, you know, in, not just in athletes but in everybody, um, there are the side effects. There are things that, that can happen in life, and um, you know, if you are using drugs or steroids or whatever substance you are using. So, um, you know, for us, it's more important to go out there and, and you know, as athletes um, play fair, um, and that's obviously the initiative that we're taking. So, um, I play fair, so no doping. Um, and just be able to achieve something and, and to walk away and say, you know, I did it with the hard work and the determination. And, and that's, you know, that's what we want to do and, and, and promote, obviously, clean sports, not just for the older athletes, but for the younger athletes as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's the clear message is to try and instill that in people as they're coming out of school and maybe going through varsity or college. Uh, is to make sure that they have this, uh, this, this thing ingrained in their head that it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay to try and cheat, which basically that's what it is. And I think also, once again, the whole Lance Armstrong thing will just uh, reiterate that point as well. It, it reverberates all around the world that it just doesn't pay because eventually, uh, no matter how well you do, it could ruin your life. Exactly. Um, you know, a lot of people, I think that you can, if you speak to that have been on substances, can give you a lot of those side effects. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, for, for me it was extremely important just to be healthy and just to go through my career and walk away knowing that I achieved everything for myself. Um, and, and, you know, the board is, is there and we're trying to promote it. We're trying to say to people, you know, you can achieve it. You can go out there and, and um, you know, do extremely well. You can win medals. You can make world records. Um, without using substances. And, and it's about just, you know, bringing that awareness and about, I think, for us, it's, it's more the passion um, of, of trying to, you know, to clean up the sports, basically. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I've just been, when I was reading about it today, I, I was just thinking, I mean, we've, we've had South African athletes and, and sports people who have uh, had issues with uh, with drugs, uh, taking various substances in their time, and they've had their bans. They've served their their time, and they've you know some of them have come back and continued. Others have sort of disappeared, but they're still very much around. Does the institute sort of think about maybe bringing one of them onto the board? Those that have sort of been down that road and and changed their ways and seen seen the you know the bad side of of, of doing this because. They've been there. They've had the experience of it as well. So it brings a new dimension, another angle into the whole into the whole thing. 
completely a different dimension. Um, you know, as I said, we just we've we just come onto the board um, in the last sort of a couple of months, and we actually have you know the Minister of Sport. Um, we have we they have tried to partner up with, with quite a lot of people um, and important people of, of government of institutions. So from that perspective, it's it's to try and get that awareness across. You know, people that have been using substances, it's it's you know it would be great to have them on the board. Um, and I'm sure they have thought about that, um, but it's also, you know, quite tough to try and create awareness, to try and and get someone to change their outlook as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's it is about, you know, on the board. I'm I'm there as an athlete, um, but you have a lot of doctors, you have professors, you have, um, you know, professors of law. Um, there's there's quite a few people that what would you call it? They would um, control different su- sections. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, they've, they've got a lot of input in iPlay Fair. And, you know, it's, to, it's really to get the brand out there. Um, we've seen the, um, sorry, uh, Helen Zilla cycling, uh, the Minister of Sports cycling, the Minister of Transport cycling with 94.7 with us. So we're trying to get people to buy into it and actually to believe in it and to go out there and, and say, you know, to be free of, of drugs is, is really important and something that can grow and can get better and better not just in South Africa, but if we can also pilot the program um, for the rest of the world. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the South African Institute for Drug Free Sport, they linked to WADA, which is the World anti doping Agency. Yeah. And, and to be a pilot for the, for the world will be very important as well. Yeah. Well, it's awesome. I don't think I could have picked a better person to, uh, to be on that board and uh, to fly this flag. So congratulations and, and all the best for the next four years, Nats. And uh, we look forward forward to some uh, what we will undoubtedly be some good work and great initiatives coming out of this as well thank you very much and and yes you know for us to try and change uh, the mind shift or to have a mind shift will be very important and and hopefully everybody that's listening will be able to buy into it you know as a as from the real side of things and not just say yes we don't do drugs and then at the end of the day do mm. um but actually buy into it absolutely nat thanks for your time this afternoon all the best and uh, catch up with you again sometime soon Thank you so much. Thank All the best, you. Nat. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, Nat. All right, there we go, Natalie the toy. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za.